to see you, ladies. Thanks so much for joining us. So investors don't like uncertainty. We know that, Mercedes. What impact do you think this pneumonia diagnosis is going to have uh, on the race overall and markets as well? Well, I think for the most part, it, it's fascinating to see that the campaign and the Clinton campaign created this sense of a cover up from a Friday to a Sunday. I think that there was, I think that's where it also creates a bit of uncertainty in general, Maria, because um, she comes out yesterday, Hillary Clinton, saying, I feel great that she has pneumonia. So it, it, it does create this uncertainty of, what, what's the real story behind it? Now, we, we know it's pneumonia at this point that this is what the doctors are saying that was revealed Friday. Why wasn't the story told on Friday? Uh, I think that American people want the honesty, uh, and that's something that the, the campaign has struggled with for a long time. I think in terms of the markets, you know, they're obviously the markets, uh, they're watching the race closely. I think this is a matter of saying that they feel that there's a sense of uncertainty or unpredictability coming from uh, both, both candidates, from a Trump candidacy or a, uh, or a Hillary uh, Clinton candidacy. So I think it's a big uh, challenge for both of these, uh, these, these presidential candidates to calm the waters down. But part of it comes with an old saying, which is the truth shall, sh shall set you free. And I think that's a, so, uh, an area where the Clinton campaign did not do very well this yeah. time around. Caitlin, first it was the, the actual sickness. I mean, people were worried about her health. Mm -hmm. Now we find out that she was in fact diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday mm -hmm. and the campaign didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's opening up another can of worms that the transparency is just not there with the Clinton camp. Right. It's a really interesting question about why they didn't disclose uh, that she was diagnosed with pneumonia. Um, her supporters have argued that, you know, she had pneumonia and she still uh, maintained her schedule going to the 9-11 memorial. Uh, but it raises questions of why didn't you just say that, sh that she had it? I know they're facing uh, scrutiny as it uh, pertains to um, people raising questions about her health and her uh, competency and her stamina, as Donald Trump puts it. But it, it is questionable why they didn't release it. Yeah. I think it's incumbent been upon both campaigns, quite frankly, to be much more transparent than they have been, especially when it comes to the issue of health. We've seen uh, th these two candidates be, I think, the, the less transparent uh, that, we, that we've seen from presidential campaigns. Donald Trump's doctor, of course, yeah. uh, with that statement, we know how that went. Well, you know, color me skeptical, but you know, we've gotten so many different stories from the Clinton campaign as to what is actually going on with her. You know, one, it was she was fine. It was just a cough. She had allergies. She was overheated. She was dehydrated. She has pneumonia. The story keeps changing. And so I'm not really sure that I buy that this is all that's wrong with her, particularly because a lot of the symptoms that we've seen out of Hillary Clinton, and I'm not a doctor, full disclosure, but a lot of the symptoms that we've seen between the coughing and the, 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 the lack of stability have, have been an issue for her since she was at the State Department. Well, and, and the big so, problem for her is voters are now wondering what's really wrong with her. Is this really the truth? Right. Is it something far worse than this? Mm -hmm. And that, to your point about the markets, is throwing a lot of uh, uncertainty, a lot of concern into this race. Mm -hmm. You know, it's less than 60 days to the presidential election. So, so you think that is part of this market sell-off then? Well, the uncertainty. I mean, well, I think how pounding in the futures right now. Markets yes. felt that Hillary was going to win. Yeah, there was a 70 percent uh, prediction in the markets. You've even seen uh, Clinton presidency on the cover of Barron's. Yeah, so you, that's so, true. That's so a good you've, point. You've seen it come through in the market, especially because of the way she's pulled in the swing states, how she came mm -hmm. out of her convention. So there was this real coalescence around the market that she's pretty much going. To win, so that so and she's been very clear. I'm going to continue Obama's strategy. So exactly. that continuity, mm -hmm. even if it's not good for banking or not good for healthcare, it's continuity. It was priced into the market, right. correct? Yeah. Right. And Mercedes and it, and it, Harlan Hill here. I had a quick question for you. Do you think that this at all makes her a more sympathetic character? I mean, nobody likes to see an elderly, an elderly person struggling. And when I saw that video of her struggling to the van. I, I mean, it touched it's my heartstrings. It made, uh, it, made, it made me think, it's a great point, it made me think of my mother. I mean, yeah. and I think we think about our, our parents saying, oh, you know, first of all, you have to remember that the presidency, even in the White House, when you're running for president and then when you go to the White House, it is grueling. When I worked at the White House, you started at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., you finished at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. Plus the travel, plus, I mean, there is so much intensity in that job. You age in that job as president. And so I think that the health concerns, it's important. We live in a time 
where back in presidential history, for example, you had FDR, you have Woodrow Wilson with health issues that they were able to cover up with a 24-hour news cycle. You can't cover up your health crisis or health issue. It doesn't work anymore in today and age. And so I think that for Hillary Clinton, it's important to be out front and honest. I think if she would have been honest from the beginning, I think you, they, we would have been more sympathetic towards the fact that this woman is sick. And guess what? She needs to rest. But you can't play this, this, this sense of I feel great and then all of a sudden come out hours later with a pneumonia story. Yeah. I just don't think that works. And watching her fall on her feet, it was, it was not a good it was, look. I mean, it was that's people right. were very concerned. Uh, thinking that it could be a lot worse just because she, she couldn't stand up getting into her car. I, I think the transparency issue is the real key here because yeah. look, everybody gets sick, candidates get sick. This has been the long, long campaign. Um, but the question of why they didn't say it earlier, um, the question of why Donald Trump won't release an, a, an extensive health report, why Clinton won't release an updated report, uh, these are big questions for these two candidates who, again, have not been transparent on a lot of different things. Well, I think